What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Crypto Time. So great news today. I know I've been teasing for a while a different type of content than like the sit down news type videos. And I'm very, very happy to say that next week, I hope to have at least one of these types of videos. It's going to be way more interactive. It's going to be more engaging. You're going to see a little more of my personality in these videos. So I'm excited to start getting these out. I'm hoping to have at least one or two a week, uh, but that's going to be next week. You're going to know the video when you see it. And I hope you guys enjoy that. So with that being said, getting into today's video, more about regulation. I know I made a video yesterday talk, or two days ago talking about what it's going to take for Bitcoin to come back. And I talked about how we need the right types of regulation entering the market. And this is something that ain't it chief. So if we get into this article, uh, it says Spanish government approves draft to a draft law to require crypto investors to reveal holdings. Now, there's so many problems with this. I'm going to get into it, but I'm going to read a little bit from this article first. Uh, it says... Unveiled at a press conference by the country's finance minister, and I'm probably going to butcher this name, Maria Jesus Montero, uh, the measures seek to make holders of crypto assets declare them regardless of whether they are in Spain or offshore. Specifically for tax purposes, she said, the government wishes to gain identification of the holders and the balances contributed by these virtual currencies. It is stated as, a manda it is stated as mandatory that people and companies inform the tax agency about this operation. Now, I understand why they need this. I understand that a lot of people use crypto and a lot of people in crypto now are evading taxes or use it to evade taxes. And that's a big problem. And that's why I was talking about in my last video. Um, we need some kind of regulation in the market, but we need the right regulation and we need the right people making these regulations or, or at least giving aid or, or having somebody in there who has been in the field for six, seven, eight years or somebody who works in the crypto field to help you make this regulation. Having people who have no knowledge, have no experience with cryptocurrency, just throwing out these laws causes so many problems and this is one of those problems. If you're trying to get people to report all of their holdings for you, and by the way, uh, the fine for each inaccuracy, so say you hold XRP, Stellar, Bitcoin, Ethereum, say you report each one of those four incorrectly, like say you have five Bitcoin, you say you have two, each one of those inaccuracies is a $6,000 fine. So you could be paying really big bucks. However, how in the world, say I have, and I, I actually do have like five, six, seven different wallets that I have Bitcoin in. I have a Ledger Nano S that keeps most of my stuff. I have an online wallet. I have stuff on exchanges. Like, how are you going to track each of those? And, and do you even have the resources or the knowledge to be able to track those back to me? And what if I keep switching wallets? What if I put, like... It's you, <laughs> or maybe I just throw everything into Monero, like a complete privacy coin. And then I just report not, like, there's so many things. You, and I'm not saying I do that. I pay my taxes. Okay. Which I think all of us in crypto should, because I think when we evade taxes and people don't report taxes, it really gives us a bad name. Um, but things like this, like this just is not it. Like you, most, if not all people are not going to be reporting their actual crypto holdings because we, they know that there's no way the government knows knows how or even can track everything back to them. So either these governments need to bring in people who really work in the field and really know what they're talking about in terms of cryptocurrency, or they need to stop treating cryptocurrency like stocks and like other assets people hold because it's not the same. This is a whole new world. So for me, this is definitely not it. On some level, I appreciate that the regulation is coming because I think a lot of us, definitely not everybody, because I know there's a lot of us who want everything, the government not touching everything, but I know a lot of us as investors kind of invite the regulation in terms of the market because it's such a wild, wild west and there's really no buyer safety. And I know that that's keeping a lot of the general public out of the market. I do invite some regulation in, but it needs to be the right regulation. And this just is not it. So hopefully these governments start bringing in experts, start bringing in people who are in the field and actually know what they're talking about uh, because stuff like this is just kind of laughable. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments your guys' opinions on this article. I'll link it in the description below if you want to read it. And I hope to see you guys in the next upload. Till then, everybody. See you.